Yeah. Um, the question is, how do we feel when we experience the Holy Spirit, and who is the Holy Spirit? Now, this is a very basic question. Who is the Holy Spirit? All Christians should know we are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Ili niswali rais sana tunataka kujua mtu huishi aje akiwa mpatrom takatifu na roma takatifu ni nani? Na ni vizuri sana mkristo kujua kwamba sisi tumebadilishwa kwa roma takatifu kwa nguvu za Mwana na Roho na Mungu Baba. So Holy Spirit is God. Roho mtakatifu ni Mungu. And the support for that is in the Old Testament there it says, says the Lord God said that and in, in the New Testament it says the Holy Spirit said Iyo, tunapata tukiangalia katika agano la kale ambalo linasema kwamba Yesu Mungu alisema na ukikuja katika agano jipi linasema roho wa Bwana alisema ambazo zinaunganika zote tatu zinafanyika kuwa Mungu katika uchatu and also uh, you know in the bible it says that Jesus is God na biblia inasema kwamba Yesu ni Mungu in uh, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 Isaiah tisa sita. That a child is given to us. Inasema mwana kazaliwa kwetu. And his name is Almighty God, jina lake Everlasting mungu Father, ku Mungu aishie milele. Wonderful Counselor, Mungu shauri wa ajabu. So this Jesus that was born for us, Yesu ambaye alizaliwa kwetu. And then he is uh, Almighty God and Everlasting Yeye Father, Yeye Mungu mkuu ambaye ni Mungu aishie milele. So Jesus is God. Yesu ni Mungu. And if you are baptized in the name of Father, Son and Holy Spirit, ukizaliwa katika utatu wa Roho wa Mungu, that it should not be baptized in the name of Father, God, Son, Jesus, God and Holy Spirit power. Unafaa lazima huo umebatizwa kwa utatu wa Mungu ambao ni Roho Mungu, Mungu Mwana, Roho Mtakatifu na Baba. You know the Jehovah Witnesses say that Jesus is not God. He's He's just, he was just an angel and became the son of God. But Jehovah Witness, who said my father, Yesu, I call him a light, but he is also a light. And they also said the Holy Spirit is just power of God. It's not 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 God. So I just said that, you know, from the Bible that Jesus is Almighty God, everlasting Father, so He is God. Tunasema kwamba Mungu ni Mungu mkuu ambaye aishie milele na ndiye ni Mungu. And then so we are baptized in and then the Holy Spirit is God because in Old Testament says God said in New Testament it some places says na the Holy Spirit said. Kwa hivyo tunapata kwamba Roho Mtakatifu ni Mungu ukienda kwa agano la kale inasema ni Mungu agano jipya linasema Roho Mtakatifu bado ni Mungu. So we know Jesus is God. It doesn't make sense that we are baptized in the name of Father, Son, and the power of God. Haita kuwa muhimu ama pasipo kuwa kubatizwa katika utatu wa Mungu. So, you know, from this scriptural passages that so Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is one God, three persons. Tunakuja kugundua kwamba katika huo utatu wa Mungu ni Mungu yule mmoja. Now this is very basic that Christians all know that. Hilo ni jambo ambalo linafaa liwe la kawaida kwetu na wa Kristo wote wanafaa wafahamu hilo. That the Holy Spirit is God. Ya kwamba Roho Mtakatifu ni Mungu. Now being filled with the Holy Spirit actually is just having a very close intimate relationship with God. Na kujazwa na Roho Mtakatifu ni ile hali ya kuwa na uhusiano wa karibu na na Mungu. It's not anything mystical. It's a close relationship with God. Sio kitu kingine kia ajabu ni uhusiano mwema na Mungu. And the most important thing, one important thing is that God can be experienced. Kitu ambacho ni muhimu sana kugundua ni kwamba Mungu anaweza hisiwa. Unaweza hisi uwepo wa Mungu na unaweza hisi uwepo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Now I gave you the passage just to talk about that we can experience the peace now these are ways we experience the Holy Spirit. Peace. Burdens go away. Comfort of the heart. Healing of the broken hearted. The love of God enter us. And also the power of God descend upon us so we receive power. And also miracles and signs. Healing and 
Timus Juvenal. Uponyaji unapatekana. So these are all the work of the Holy Spirit. Hiyo work of God. Bwana Yesu kupitia Roho Mtakatifu anapotushukia sisi. So that is how we experience. Na hivyo ndivyo sisi tuweza hisi Roho Mtakatifu. So I have asked you a question. Now just now earlier we uh, you know I pray for everyone here and everyone share what they experience. Hapo mwanzo niliomba na nyinyi la kila mtu alishiriki na sisi ni jinsi alihisi baada ya kuomba. So you see that God is very reliable. The Holy Spirit is very reliable. Na unagundua kwamba Mungu ni ni wa kutegemewa. Ni mtu ni yule anapatikana, anaweza tumainiwa. When you hunger for God, he will come and bless you. Ukiwa unamtamani Mungu, unamhitaji Mungu, una kiu cha Mungu, yeye atakuja na kubariki. So I hope that you know that you can experience the Holy Spirit. Na amini ya kwamba katika hiyo hali utaweza gundua ukiwa unapitia unahusika na roho wa Mungu. And pray for people to experience the Holy Spirit. Uombe utaweza kuombea watu waweze kupata roho mtakatifu. The next step is to you know pray more and then start praying for people. Na hatua inayofuata ni kuomba zaidi na uweze kuanza kuombea watu kupokea roho mtakatifu. Now when you when I pray for you or some people pray for you and experience the presence of God. You have to keep that anointing. Now in the Old Testament we see the example of Saul. He experienced a strong work of the Holy Spirit when he went to a group of prophets. Sauli ali usika na kahisi uwepo wa Mungu akachangamana na uwepo wa Mungu, lakini aliingia kwenye kikundi alitembelea kikundi kikuu cha waganga. In 1 Samuel chapter 10. Samuel wa kwanza mlango wa 10. Verses 5 to 10. Kuanzia 5 hadi 10. Samuel told Saul to go to a group of prophets. Samuel akawaambia Sauli ya kwamba aende katembelee kikundi cha manabii. And he was changed to a new person na akabadilishwa kwa mtu mpya. And he also started to prophesy na akaanza pia naye kunena unabii. So the Holy Spirit came powerfully upon him. Na roho wa Mungu akamshukia kwa Mungu nguvu ya kwa ukuu sana. But Saul did not keep this strong relationship with God. Saul hakulinda uhusiano huu mzuri na Mungu. And he he sinned. He was jealous of David. He was his he sinned and he was jealous of David. Na ali tenda dhambi akawa na wivu kwa Daudi. He wanted to kill David. Akataka kumua David. And the Bible said that the Holy Spirit left him. Na roho wa Biblia inasema roho wa Mungu alimuondokea. And then evil spirit came to him. Na roho mchafu akamtia. So we realize that the indwelling of the Holy Spirit will not stay forever automatically. Tunakuta kukundua kwamba utulivu wa Roho Mtakatifu hautakaa kwetu kwa kawaida tu. Ni lazima tuulinde. We need to put effort into keeping this relationship. Now earlier I told you these steps. First repent and hasten and leave the sin. And read the Bible and believe what the Bible says. Have faith that God really wants to bless us and fill us. Believe that God really wants to fill us with the Holy Spirit. And number four, worship in spirit and in truth. And number five, follow the Great Commission to preach the gospel and to Teach people to obey everything Jesus has taught. And take care of different problems in life. If a person is burdened, he cannot be filled with the Holy Spirit. So we need to learn to put down the burdens. And love God all the time. The more time you spend praying, Wakati mwingi unachukua ukiwa unaomba. 
the more the Holy Spirit will stay on you. And if you learn to love the Lord from your spirit, and you keep doing that for a long time, virtually, any time you think of Jesus, you, you can experience the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And you carry power and you pray for people. Now, I would say actually, just now when we pray for the people, not everyone hunger for God. They still experience the Holy Spirit. If, if they hunger for God, it would be totally different. Some of them will be filled with joy and great freedom and great healing and they go back to the church and they carry the power of God to bless people. And I tell you that in the world there are so many people now filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. So I hope you hunger for that and do and then you'll be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. And your ministry will be totally different. Okay. Are you willing? The main thing is to pay the price. You have to pay the price to take care of sins. And read the Bible and believe in God. And spend long time praying to God loving God. And be willing to pray for people to bless people. And, and take care of problems in your life. And, and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit more and more. And you know, there are some people in the world that the anointing is very strong. So strong that when they have a meeting, the people around them were healed. And then when they pray for people, many people were touched by the love of God and changed by the love of God. Online you can see a lot of that. Online you can see a lot of that. So don't think that you cannot do it. With God everything is possible.